know, you have to put stops together. And it started with our second unit. Um, you know, they're starting us off and, and getting the run going. And then from there, you know, we were able to come back in and continue on um, with that momentum. How much of an identity is that second unit building? I mean, they've been really good for you guys uh, in several games recently. It's kind of getting to the point now where you expect them to be good. You know, you're you're depending on them uh, to be good. They've they've been fantastic all year. Um, you know, and they're you know they're it's it's becoming you know a staple of this team. You know, we we talk about other teams' second unit. We talk about the Lakers' second unit and how much of a push they give them. The Clippers' second unit. And, you know, I think if this unit can continue to play well, you know, they'll put themselves in that category. But, you know, we need them to continue to play like that. It's been great for us. Uh, hi, Draymond. Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. Steve just said that he knows at some point your offense will get to the point you wanted it to be. Three-pointer today, a couple of layups. Where do you think your offense is right now? And where do you want it to be? Uh, I mean, I just have to stay aggressive. Um, you know, and as I continue to play more and more aggressive, uh, you know, it'll – It'll be theirs. Um, you know, that's not something I really think too much about, to be honest with you. Draymond, what did you think of Kelly's impact tonight? He was great. Uh, he was great on both sides of the ball, especially during that second half. He was amazing defensively. Uh, the entire game, he was great offensively. You know, he's he's really finding his confidence. You know, he's finding his way on his team. He's knocking shots down now, uh, which is huge. Um, but he's also slashing in the lane more you know I think and I think that's been great for him you know he's getting to the basket and it's not like you know he's getting there with just someone helping him you know he's putting his head down and getting to the cup so uh you know huge game for us tonight we need him to continue to build on that Draymond how do you how do you help this um, Marcus Thompson what's up, sir? how do you how do you help James Wiseman uh not let this like be a problem like the struggles he had tonight you can see him getting frustrated how do you how do you not make that like build up on him in a bad way I just continue to teach him you know um you know i think we all know you know at times it gets frustrating uh you know when the game's not going your way i can only imagine how frustrating it can be for a 19 year old uh who hasn't really been through much in life at all you know and so um you know it'll be fine uh Oh, nobody's really worried about it. It's just the game needs to slow down for him. He has to slow down. And that'll happen over time. You know, I don't think that happened for anyone as fast as we all want it to happen for him. But, it, you know, it'll happen. He just got to stay the course, continue to stay aggressive. That's the most important thing, I think, for me. I just want him to stay aggressive, uh, you know, because the reality is if he stays aggressive, he'll learn how to read when someone's setting up for a charge. He'll learn how to read when a guy is pulling over from the weak side and he's there to take the charge or the Marga saw one where he kind of knew the entire time he was taking the charge, he'll start to see those pictures. And so most importantly, uh, I just want him to stay aggressive. He'll figure out the rest of it later. Hey, Draymond, um, working on a Kobe Bryant project. I'm asking guys what they remember about the very first time they played Kobe. So I assume it was your rookie year. What do you remember about the first time you're on the court with him? I think the, the thing that stood out to me the first time I, I played against Kobe, I've, I think I've told this story before, but when I came into the NBA, I was starstruck by two guys. And one was Kobe and the other one was Grant Hill. I grew up in Michigan watching Grant Hill play uh, with the Pistons, with turquoise and maroon jerseys, uh, or Till, whatever, Till, whatever it was. And Grant Hill was amazing. And, and so, I was starstruck by Grant Hill and Kobe. And I think this thing, the thing that stood out most to me about playing Kobe that first time was his pregame warm-up. I finished my pregame warm-up early. And, you know, as a rookie, you get there like 3.30, 3.45 for a 7.30 game. As soon as I finished my warm-up, he was coming on the floor, which was, number one was kind of threw me off. Like, why is he working out at 4 o'clock and it's a 7.30 game? Um, but I sat there and – I watched his entire workout. I ended up realizing why he worked out so long. He worked out for like 40 minutes. And I sat there and watched the entire workout. By the time I finished watching his workout, I had like missed my lift, uh, my treatment time. You know, as a young guy, you, you get the early slots and once you miss it, it's over. I had missed everything. And I think for me personally, that was just a moment like in my life where it was like, yo, like I'm sitting here watching Kobe. Nothing else really mattered to me at that point. Was it worth missing all the stuff you missed? 100%.
nothing can replace that moment for me. It was great. And then, uh, you know, obviously playing against him that first time, you kind of just see that killer instinct, you know, um, like he's just trying coming out there trying to destroy everybody. And obviously my, you know, my rookie year was 2012. So, you know, Kobe at that point, like what, one year removed from winning a championship, like he's still Kobe. And so uh, it was great. Draymond Steph actually Draymond Steph actually said that Kobe gave him a disrespectful look. Did he give you a disrespectful look in a game? Steph mentioned when he got switched I on. Play, I didn't play much. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can't remember if that was the game or not, but I got in I got in the game for a uh, for like a defensive stop at the end of the game. He shot a fadeaway in the corner. I was on him. I'm like, yeah, he missed it. He said, that ain't had nothing to do with you, young fella. <laughs> that ain't had nothing to do with you. I was like, ah. I just went back to the bench game, went to overtime. I took took my position back, and that was the end of that. Draymond, a little bit of an unrelated question here. You guys are wearing the those kind of throwback jerseys on Wednesday that say Oakland on the front of oh, them. That's fire. You know I rock with Oakland. It's my second home. So what I wanted to ask you, um, what, how important is it for you guys since moving to San Francisco especially to continue to represent the city the way that you guys do? Even the soul just- of our team come from Oakland. That's – that's just kind of what it is. Uh, the soul of this organization is built in Oakland. Um, that's that's just that's just the reality. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. Thanks. Hi, Draymond. What was the key to control the offense of LeBron James and Anthony Davis? Uh, I mean, you just try to make AD take tough shots. Uh, and saying that, you know, he still had a very good game. I think he may have had a triple double or close to it. Um, you know, AD's a hell of a player. Uh, you know, s- extremely skilled, can kind of do everything on the floor. So, you know, just just really try to get up, you know, pressure up on him and make him take tough shots. Some nights he hit him, some nights he don't. Draymond, to follow up on Kelly quickly, you play with a lot of confident players over the years. How much different does this team become when he's playing with the kind of edge that he showed tonight? Oh, I mean, completely different team, you know, because it's just another dominant option. And obviously, uh, you know, he's shown what he's capable of on the defensive end since the very beginning of the year. And so, um, you know, when he's playing like that and that aggressive, you know, it, it makes us a lot tougher to stop. You know, so that was that was great for us. Draymond, on the uh, on the telecast tonight, uh, they had they had you talking to James uh, and explaining something to him about seeing things, and you were saying that uh, you love the the matchup of him against Gasol, and Gasol was standing right there when you said it. Did you yeah, did you see him, and did he happen to react or anything like that? Uh, he didn't react, and I didn't really see him. Uh, you know, I wasn't really talking shit. I was just kind of telling him what I feel. Uh, I think, you know, that was that was right after the play where I threw it to him in, in traffic and he turned the ball over. And I was just telling him. Uh, I had been looking at him the entire time down the floor. He never looked. I had been trying to give him the ball. And I was just telling him. Um, most people will say, Draymond put you in a tough spot and you turned the ball over because you shouldn't have been in that spot. I think if I give him the ball right there, he knows how to handle it. He's one-on-one downhill with Marcus Saul, and I love Marcus Saul's game. I think he's been phenomenal all these years. He's a champion. I like James' chances if he's one-on-one downhill under control. And so, uh, you know, really just trying to get him to show him the different pictures. You know, and I I told him, um, I put you in a tough spot. I did, 100%. But I think you can handle being in that tough spot. And so I'm going to do it again. Like, I'm going to throw you the ball in that spot again. You're going to be in transition. And next time, you're going to figure it out. And so, uh, you know, I just have high hopes for him. Um, I have very high just belief in his and what he's capable of doing. I think I probably believe more in his capabilities than he do at this point. But... Um, yeah, you know, I'm always try to show him the pictures and uh, try to help him understand the game more. But, you know, for those that's going to look at that turnover and say, oh, man, Draymond put him in a tough spot. Yeah, it's 100 percent. I think he's capable of handling that tough spot and he'll continue to get better at it. Great. Thank you. We got to get some other guys in here.